Uh, <coughs> hi, I'm uh, Ambrose, and I just wanted to make a video on whether or not ordinary aluminum will function as a Faraday cage. If you look it up on the internet, you'll see a lot of people uh, arguing that, well, no, and if you do, you have to have it grounded uh, into something or uh, to work. And uh, anyway, I already. I already uploaded a video uh, demonstrating that two layers of aluminum foil totally block my cell phone signal, and I have a ver I have a full cell phone, strong cell phone signal uh, where I'm at. I mean, I'm not on the I'm not on the ground floor either, so you know, I'm elevated. And uh, basically, what I did is I created a Faraday cage around my phone by surrounding it with two layers of tin foil, a mini Faraday cage. So, and it wasn't grounded. So, no, you do not have to ground your Faraday cage. And yes, two layers of heavy duty foil will function as a Faraday cage. So, you know, if you want some peace while you sleep, you could build a, a small one around your bed. Just as long as you make sure when you close your door that, uh, that it's totally sealed, that you're making a solid connection of metal all around you. And there you go. I'd recommend using three layers of heavy-duty uh, tin foil, and you should be good. And if you want to ground it, like some people recommend, you can always do that. But uh, but uh, you have a functional uh, uh, Faraday cage. Uh, and uh, and someone commented that uh, that a pot wouldn't work as a Faraday cage. I believe this is an aluminum pot. I put the lid on it and it is sealed, right? So uh, here we are, aluminum pot, and the lid on it seals it. So this should work as a Faraday cage. Here we go. Here's landline. Here's cell phone. Now I'm gonna hit the redial button, and I'm gonna hear my phone ring. Okay, that was my cell phone ringing. Now, I'm going to put the cell phone. I'm going to get my Faraday cage, theoretical Faraday cage, theoretical. And the cell phone is going in my theoretical Faraday cage. Okay, now the phone is in my Faraday cage. Now, if I call my phone and you hear... Emilio, so on and so forth, that's me and my voicemail, and it means the cell signal was unable to penetrate my miniature Faraday cage here. Okay, so let's uh, put the phone on speaker and hit redial again. Press down on the lid to make sure we got a good seal. This isn't ringing, people. Hi, you have Emilio. So, what happened? The Faraday, my Faraday cage, ungrounded. Shut up, you people that say they have to be grounded. It doesn't. There you go. Aluminum works as a Faraday cage if the object is totally surrounded. As far as insulating your Faraday cage, there isn't any metal on my cell phone, so um, so I didn't need to insulate it. But if there was like a metal antenna sticking out of this thing, then I'd probably have to uh, stop the uh, insulate uh, the bottom of this or something so the metal isn't making contact with the uh, aluminum or I'm just going to turn this thing into uh, a big uh, antenna. So uh, like if you're going to do an experiment with a radio, you know, make sure the antenna is touching the Faraday cage or anyway, or any metal, you know, cover up the antenna with something. And uh, I'm going to make another video showing that uh, the Faraday cage blocks 
FM with no problem, just like it blocked uh, <laughs> blocked my cell phone, which is uh, probably a stronger signal. Um, so, so, so like I said, uh, you can build your own Faraday cage made of, of aluminum. I recommend three layers of heavy duty aluminum, and uh, you got to make sure it's all connected all the way around and. And you saw my other video where I showed that two layers totally blocked the cell phone of heavy duty tin foil. I had totally enclosed the cell phone, so what I was doing was making a Faraday cage that was ungrounded. And uh, like I mentioned, it, the, the uh, effect of being insulated was there because the phone is not metal. You know, so, um, so the phone itself is, is insulated against uh, uh, turning the tin foil into a, a big antenna so it goes right through. So uh, that's it. That's my comment on, uh, on uh, this conflict over people saying does aluminum work? Yeah, no. Yes it does. Doesn't need to be grounded to work. So that's it. So long. Uh, hi, I'm back. Uh, so um, I just wanted to add, uh, I said I was going to upload a, a video about a radio, but it occurred to me I had a little radio, and this is a world band, it does AM and FM, and uh, I'll just tell you, um, I stuck it in here, and with AM and FM, tried different frequencies, and when I close this lid, the radio goes to static, that's all I hear is static, so... This Faraday cage blocks AM, FM, cellular. Now what else can we uh, try this Faraday cage out on? Mm. You uh, have any ideas on, on what else you want me to, to, to block with my, uh, my uh, portable Faraday cage? You, you let me know and I'll prove it to you. Or, you, know, you can always do your own experiments. Um, comments are nice down there. I like those. Nah. Anyway, so uh, see you later again. Bye again.